the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May our Lord be with you. Let each of us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God, the Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God, Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. You are the Word made flesh, the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. And we pray, O oh God, increase our faith, hope, and charity. Make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I am speaking in human terms because of the weakness of your nature. For just as you presented the parts of your bodies as slaves to impurity and to lawlessness for lawlessness, so now present them as slaves to righteousness for sanctification. For when you were slaves of sin, you were free from righteousness. But what profit did you get then from these things from w of which you are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. But now that you have been freed from sin and have become slaves of God, the benefit that you have leads to sanctification, and its end is eternal life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus, our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm, blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed, blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Bless the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed, Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season, whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Blessed, Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. May the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. <clears throat> Jesus said to his disciples, I've come to set a fire on the earth. How I wish it were already blazing. There's a baptism with which I must be baptized. How great is my anguish until it is accomplished. Do you think I've come to establish peace on the earth? No, I tell you, rather, division. From now on, a household of five will be divided, three against two, two against three. Father will be divided against son, son against father, daughter against mother, mother against daughter, mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and her daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. The Gospel of the Lord. Those of you who have attended the 7 o'clock Mass for years over in the school chapel know that 
Paul's letter to the Romans is, is the most important piece of the New Testament next to the Gospels. And some would say it's even more important than the Gospels. Chapters 5 through 8, which we're on right now, contain the core of Christian theology, especially chapter 8, which is the best chapter in the New Testament. Listen to, to the line that David read for us today. The wages of sin is death. Now, you've probably heard that before. You, you, probably, you may have known that without even coming to Mass this morning, but do you realize how true it is? Like, do you think God ever meant human beings to suffer and die? All we do around here is funerals, five this week. Do you, do you think God meant people to die and to suffer before they die terribly, sometimes for years? Do you think God ever want? Of course not. That came because of sin. If man had not sinned, well, this body would eventually have stopped working, I suppose. But now, now when I die, it's with pain and suffering. And now, I don't know where I'm going to go when this body does quit. Am I going to go that way? Or am I going to go that way? None of that would have happened without Adam and Eve sinning. Life would have ended beautifully, peacefully, blissfully. Not now. All because Adam and Eve couldn't avoid sin. But the wages of sin happens in daily life, too. You want to end a good friendship? Lie to somebody. Well, if I can't trust you anymore, then how can we have a relationship? We can't. You want to end a marriage? Commit adultery. Watch what happens. It'll be to the death of the marriage. Death of the relationship. You want to lose any friendship? Gossip about somebody. What are they saying about me behind my... The wages of sin will always be death. Why do we talk so much about sin? Because it hurts us so much. Your relationship with God and our relationship with each other. Now, we'll never be completely sinless. Not in this valley of tears. But we start every day to be a little bit less sinful, that we may be a little bit more loving. That's for every human being on earth to hear, myself included. Let us stand, my friends, and we'll offer our petitions to Almighty God. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, Bishop Bambera, and all clergy, that they may reflect God's love and humble service to all entrusted to their care. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders in the government and enterprise, and for all who have power over other people, may they center their values, decisions, and action on the common good and to benefit the needy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the containment and eradication of the COVID-19 virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Anne and Jack Dean, for whom this Mass is being offered, may they be at peace with God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Look, God, through the grace of every Eucharist, this Eucharist, help us turn from sin to live lives of holiness and truth to grow closer to you. We make all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May these sacrificial offerings, Lord, become for you a pure oblation and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, just, our duty, and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Spirit, born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and make manifest the resurrection. So with angels and saints, we praise you as we say, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper ended, he took a chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace to the Lord be with you always. We share a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Mighty God bless us and all of our families, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our liturgy ends, we go in peace, glorifying God with our lives. Thanks be to God.